Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I had some new painting ideas and some art struggles I wanted to talk about. So for my new painting, I wanted to do something a bit different than usual. With painting, I tend to paint with really tiny brushes because I focus a lot on small details. I think this is because I tend to fixate too much on the reference and then it sometimes looks a bit flat in my opinion. So with this painting, I didn't want to blend too much and wanted to experiment with bigger brush strokes and more vivid colors. I started with a quick layer of burnt sienna just to sketch my image out a bit. When I first started out with painting, I kept using very small brushes and I kept doing this even though sometimes I would paint on a much bigger scale. I remember my teacher back in art school would tell me to pick up bigger brushes because it would allow me to work faster and first get the important shadows, shapes and colors right. And later I could worry about the details. This is something that I still have to learn to this day because for me it's exciting to see how the final result is going to look. For example, most of the time I always finish the eyes as much as possible before moving on with the rest of my painting. It's one of the first things you notice when looking at a portrait. With this painting too, I did the same thing, but I tried using a bigger brush and tried to block in the bigger shapes and colors first. Even though it's hard, I think it's important to try to analyze your painting habits and try to break out of them and do something else every once in a while. This can also really help with finding your style, which is something I'm still trying to discover. I feel like I have so much yet to learn about painting and my painting style, but trying different things that you wouldn't normally do can be really fun and helpful. The worst part for me when picking up a new medium is that I feel like I'm not a good artist anymore because I'm not used to the material. But then, doing this, I discovered that using new mediums can help you to discover a lot of new things because you automatically create different shapes and techniques with a medium you're not really used to. And that can help you discover some new motifs that you like and incorporate them into your art. I also deal with a lot of self-criticism whenever I paint and some advice I learned from other people was to just try to let go of the anxiety or stress or criticism and just have fun while painting, but it never completely worked for me. Even though I had fun creating and painting, I could never let go of the perfectionism and self-criticism. This is something I think every artist has to some degree, but something that really helped me is to use that self-criticism as a motivation to improve and experiment. Whenever perfectionism and self-criticism is starting to take over, I try to analyze what it really is that I don't like about what I'm doing. Most recently, I thought that I should experiment more with what kind of subject I paint and how exactly I paint it. Most recently I thought that I should experiment more with what kind of subject I paint and how I paint it. 
As I said, I often use very small brushes and tend to blend a lot. So today I looked for something with a different composition that was a bit more interesting than just a portrait. I don't really have any experience with painting flowers, so I stepped out of my comfort zone and gave it a go. This self-criticism and perfectionism can be a tool for you to help you improve your technique or find your art style or even break out of artist block. If you never look critically at what you're creating, it's harder to improve or break bad habits or try to discover new things. This also comes with time and you definitely don't have to rush this. You can try something new, decide that you don't like it anyway and get back into your comfort zone and maybe try again another time. I think the point is that you just try every once in a while, even if it's something small, like for example me switching from painting on a canvas to painting on a glass surface. This was quite challenging because I'm used to a canvas surface and even though I primed the glass with gesso, I still thought the surface was a bit too smooth. And here I fell back into using a tiny brush, so it took me forever to paint a small section. Then I caught myself and tried to use a bigger brush and the process started to go way faster. I really enjoyed how the paint looked on the glass surface and decided to do another one. I want to experiment more with different painting subjects, since I'm so used to doing portraits. I wanted to keep it simple and try to not make it so detailed as I normally do. I had a picture I took of a tangerine a while ago and decided to paint it. I try to make more of an impression of it rather than really copying the picture because I also tend to do this a lot. hard at first to like it because I kept thinking this doesn't look like the picture at all but now I think this is actually a good thing because of course I'm not making a picture I'm creating a painting why should it look the same so I try to focus on the important parts like the shape light shadow and colors
hope this maybe inspired you to create something new and try to experiment with different things every once in a while. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.